you guys? Tom is back with another Vincent's video. Today we have a brand new fragrance in the collection. It is called the Obat Cario Zad. But before we get into that, just want to say thank you guys again. It is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices, whether it is that cell phone, that tablet, that laptop, that Macintosh, that big screen TV, whether you're watching me at work, at school, on the road, on a boat, in a plane, in a train. Doesn't matter wherever and however you're watching me, it is an honor. And if you guys are new to this channel, you like what you see, you like discussing different fragrances and other stuff, please hit the subscribe button, comment, and like, because everyone loves a like. So, that being said, let's get into this fragrance. So, Obaticario, Obaticario, I think this is uh, made in Spain, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. I actually seen this on Facebook, one of those Facebook ads, and then this store, they're, they're a, uh, a designer house, if you will, maybe even niche quality, uh, but uh, distributed out of New York, but let's see where this is actually made, <clears throat> maybe France, not really seeing too much on here about where it's made, but um, since it's a woody fresh on the back, so that's kind of cool. It's kind of telling me what kind of fragrance it is on the back. Um, directions apply all over the body. And, uh, there we go. <clears throat> anything else on this box? If I see anything cool, I'll show you, but nope. There's some batch code stuff right here. It's going to be kind of hard to see with that plastic, but it is right there. But again, this is Zad. Zad or Zad? I don't know. Zad. I'm going to go with Zad, okay? Now, this box is actually kind of heavy, so I'm assuming the bottle on the inside is heavy as well, because obviously the box probably weighs a couple ounces. So, let's get into this now. Some people are saying this is a, uh, like, almost Chanel Ego East, almost. So, we shall see. Made in Brazil, actually, okay? So, it's Brazilian joint. Made in Brazil. There you go. Zed. Oh, Baticario. Now, there are a few reviews on this on Fragrantica. I'm not sure about on YouTube just yet. I think I've seen maybe a couple of them, but they're all in Spanish and different various languages. But not too many in English. But So hopefully this is the first one so you guys can watch it. This one cost me about 48 bucks, And, man, take a look at that beautiful bottle. Unbelievable bottle, very, very nice, very simplistic. Um, you don't have that much as far as the branding on this bottle, besides up at the cap. There we go, that bought Cario and Zed. Other than that, on the bottle, just Zed. That's it. EDP concentration. This is 100 ml. And again, this was about 48 bucks. Okay. Um, cap feels actually quite good in the hands. Very nice. It's a magnetic cap, too. Look at that. So you can. Do your Sauvage stuff like that. Anyways, by the way, now this is a little harder to do because it's a square bottle or it's a rounder, but how do you guys Sauvage? Do you guys Sauvage like this? Or do you Sauvage like this? Just because of that magnetic cap, I like doing it. It's like the fidgety spinner right here. Like when you just can't sit still. You got one of these bottles in your hand. You can just do this all day. This is the original popper. Those popper toys just keep making that noise all day. But there you go. Unbelievable looking bottle. Look at that sprayer. Huge atomizer. Just blends so well with that bottle. This would have been kind of ugly if it was just a small atomizer. But look at that. Beautiful big atomizer. Got that little tube tube thing going right down there in that corner so we should get all of the juice and that's if we even get to the bottom of this juice so probably not but who knows here we go nothing going here let's see platinum chanel ego east some people are saying so here we go wide distribution we're gonna go three sprays on that one hmm now i'm not getting platinum ego east but I'm getting a nice, woody, earthy, aromatic, kind of green, nice and fresh and bright. Um, I think there's like cardamom in here. No, not cardamom, but um, uh, coriander. 
coriander, bergamot. I think we got some juniper berries in here as well. So nice and green, and earthy and woody and some other woods in here. But let's dive in a little deeper and see what it's all about. Yeah, I don't get where there's a couple people saying Platinum Chanel Ego East. I don't think so. I don't have Ego East, but I do have uh, Legacy from our moth, which is kind of like their take on it. And these don't smell like to me. Now, it does have that nice green, almost almost kind of comes off minty a little bit. Um, it is probably because of that coriander. Coriander kind of has that nice, fresh, herby smell to it, which is very nice kind of almost there might actually be some cardamom here because there's almost like this original like an original bubble gum like if you're true an original bubble gum the pink stuff just a little bit kind of has that little bit of a sweet smell underneath all that definitely getting the woods now probably some sandalwood because it kind of has this smooth creaminess to it you know what for the $48 that I spent, it's actually not that bad. That's actually a very good cologne, in my opinion. However, I have to be honest, it does smell like some other stuff that I have in my collection. Especially that, man, but it's nice and crisp. That nice, crisp opening is very nice. Again, almost minty, if you will, okay? Definitely getting a nice little citrus action going here. Got that little bit of fur action right here. Getting holding on to that fragrance pretty well. But yeah, this is a, a very decent perfume, cologne, scent, however you want to call it. Very uh, open for seasons as far as the warm weather coming up. Okay, now. Again, you can wear the stuff in winter and fall too, but you just got to make sure it is the right occasion. So now when people always talk about what fragrances you can wear in different seasons, I'm more of a occasion type guy, okay? Where can you wear this, okay? You can wear this in the summer, the winter, the fall, and the, I say spring, summer, yeah, spring, summer, fall, winter, all those, okay? You can wear that in every single season, however... When you are wearing this, you want to wear it at work. This is a nice work scent, a nice office, nice going to the gym after the gym scent, nice for if you're going to school, maybe just going on a nice little day date. This is not a nighttime occasion, sex time, sexy date night fragrance, not by any means, but it is a very nice night. Now, if you're going on a night uh, date, maybe doing a little bit of putt-putt golf, little miniature golf, maybe going to the drive range, bowling alley, definitely rock that. Now, if you want something loud, obviously, you're not going to wear this. You're going to wear something with probably a little bit more heavy on the tonsil bean and the sweet stuff and all that. But this is just very nice. Nice and fresh, earthy, woody. Very nice. Um, very nice fragrance indeed. I'm going to spray a little bit more of this on the chest area too. Make this the scent of the night before I go to bed. See if, see if I'm getting anything different. With that, oh yeah, again, just nice, fresh, bright, citrusy, slightly woody. It's got this slight little bit of bubblegummy flavor. Flavor, who the hell's eating this shit? Well, if someone licks on your neck, they're going to taste some bubblegum. No, they're not going to taste bubblegum, but it does have that bubblegummy scent, that smell. Just a little bit, not too much. So you got fresh, citrus, bright, little bit of herbs at the top. Nice sandalwood, maybe nice little bit of creaminess coming through because there is some nice creaminess coming through, a little wood. But overall, yes, great fragrance. $48, you can't beat it. But again, this is where I'm deaf, but, okay. Do I think this is worth $48 though? No. This was about $30. I would highly encourage everybody to get it. But $48, again, if you have the money, you already have a huge collection. There probably is no need for this. But honestly, I picked it up because I wanted to try this company out. This company out of Brazil, Obatcario. Again, very hard name to pronounce. 
but this Zed, this one definitely caught my eye, the way the bottle looked, everything. But again, 48 bucks, give or take a couple dollars. Now, I do have some others from the house. Some of them were on clearance, so that's the reason why we got those. But again, Obitacario EDP. This is that Zad again, fresh, green, woody, citrusy. Boom. There you go. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, hit the likes, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Peace.